Hi, my name is Teresa. What's your name? My name is Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Barbara, nice to meet you. And which one appeals to you the most? Which one do you like the most? Which one? Oh, cool. Um, I like that one too. I felt like I, I just wanted you to choose because I felt like I had just an encouraging word to share with you with the one that you drew. And this one, I believe, is about how you love growth and you love plants and you love nature and you love to go outside. Is that true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I saw that there were things that you were kind of cutting and you were putting into a vase that represented your life. Mm -hmm. and, they, and that they were becoming very beautiful, your ideas and the things that you had for, um, for, for your life. And that there was many different things that you wanted to do in your life. There wasn't just one thing, but there were many different things. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just felt to encourage you, like every one of them is beautiful, and every one of them will bloom at the right time. And not to get um, discouraged if some of them are still in seed form. And so I just wanted to give that to you and encourage you. Um, and you know, enjoy your fruit, enjoy anything that, that you're having, but just be encouraged that, that you are on God's heart and that He has a plan for you. Nice to meet you. So those are just like simple things that like we we take for granted that God gives us uh, chances to talk to people. So you learning how to prophesy through your creativity to transform people. Uh, so you can do it one of two ways. You could do you could take a bunch of them and then ask that person which one it means something to them right now in their life and then prophesy through the way that I just did. Or you can pick out one that you feel is right for that person. Wow. <laughs> part, of, part of what I love is you are learning how to be free in the marketplace. And you have to learn how to be free in church, in both places. Because if people come to church and they're not free to express themselves, then how the relevance of church is it's not it doesn't quite fit with who they are. Mm -hmm. And so part of what we're doing is you're learning how art, dance, writing, how we need to be in the presence to do that. But then we want to go out in the world, we want to bring people in, and we also want to be relevant to people out in the market. And so part of it is we just need to rethink who we are. We need to rethink the way that God's created us to be and know that we're not, we're not sitting in church waiting for God to come back. But it's, us to, it's up to us to steward the world. And he says that he wants us to what? To go out and to create a place where people can understand who God is. Through love, through intimacy, through favor. And we do that through just being who we are, but using creativity to transform. We have a hospital. Who here love, wants to heal, see people get healed? Amen. Mm -hmm. So we have a group that um, does music and does art and writing to anybody in the hospital. Um, can go into any room, minister to doctors and nurses. And now we have our art and photography hanging up in, in the doctor's cardiac unit. Mm -hmm. It's all because we just went. Uh, we have a children's story hour where we minister to kids and we tell them stories and then we take them on encounters with God. Hmm. You know? And they're not necessarily like, it's just as simple as you just have to rethink things. So we are, we're not people that that prophesy, like prophesy, we encourage people. So we have to reword what we say. So in our children's story hour, we will get a book like the Chronicles of Narnia. And I'll say, okay, Aslan, close your eyes, kids. Let's encounter Aslan. What would Aslan say to you right now? And then they get to draw it and we get to talk to them about who they are and, and the power of how Aslan can transform their lives because he speaks good to his children. And so you can just take a simple, a simple story and you can bring it in without beating them over the head. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 What are you saying? And the parents love it. These parents go, oh my gosh, this is the highlight for, for our whole week is going. And then we have iHeart uh, Reading, which is our photography group. And they go into businesses and other places 
and they take photographs of people coming in about what they love about that business and then they put it on their Facebook page to help with advertising for that store. Mm -hmm. So we just use whatever we have and say, Jesus, what can we do to bless our city? What can we do to benefit, to transform? Um, the three DVD series on what you, can, what you can do in missions, what you can do in, in third world countries, mm -hmm. um, what you can do in arts in healing or sex slave trade. It has all of these ideas if you're a musician, an artist, an answer on what you can do outside of the church to transform it. So I, I travel around the world and I speak to churches that never have done this outside of the marketplace. And these churches just come alive out there. Everyone has a place. Everyone is creating something. And it just, it just is so fun to watch. So I'll give you a quick testimony. So I was in Texas. And we were going out with about 150 people to this marketplace area where they said, yeah, there's always kids and people at this park. I go down and there's six people. And then I said, OK, Holy Spirit, what do you want to do? So I had people make stuff. And these are people that sing, that do art, dance. I just wanted to activate them, face painting, balloon animals. I said, let's get into groups and let's go out into the marketplace because let's go to the shops that are around where this park is. So I went into this barber shop and I had about nine women. I definitely looked out of place. And this man looked to be about 60 and he was cutting a, a Marine's hair and and he looks to be about 30, and I go, hey, how are you doing? Now, the minute, the thing I need to know, if you look at like core values, I know that I'm with the team. I know that having the team all minister is super important because I want them all to get activated. But the other thing I know is that I will honor them, and that will be the huge door that will open up this man's heart. I know that because I know that that's what Jesus teaches me. And I know that gifts make room for people. I know that creativity makes room. So I have great faith. I don't come in in fear. Because this is exactly where God wants me to be, out in the marketplace. And he wants them to see that. So I don't have any fear. I know that God's going to do it. But I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> so it's always, it's, you know, Jesus told people to go out, but he never said how. Okay. Read Matthew 28. <coughs> so I'm out there. And I, and I said, hi, how are you doing? How long have you had this business? Because I know if somebody engages in who they are, they love to talk about who they are. Mm -hmm. That's for you. So he starts talking about how long he's been in this business and what he's done. And I go, wow, you've been here for 30 years. This is awesome. I just want to honor you for what you've done in, in Wiley, Texas and, and for your heart. And, and I have this person that has done an art piece that would like to give it to you. Now, this girl's never given away an art piece. <laughs> but I just opened up the door for her. She explained the art piece and all I said was, does that mean something to you? And he goes, oh yeah, let me tell you what that means. Hey okay, guys, this is fun. This is good. God is starting to move on this man's life. And then the, 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 uh, the Marine also gets a, a piece of art and then after about 20 minutes they go, the, the Marine goes, well, where are you from? Like, you guys are really like, what? <laughs> and, um, and so we mentioned the church. <laughs> and the barber said, oh my gosh, my wife has been trying to get me to this church. <laughs> and the Marine goes, well, you're not like any other Christians. I know you're happy. <laughs> cool. so sad. He had never met, he had never met the happy Jesus. <laughs> sure did. Yeah. So, um, so this one person had a word of knowledge about a shoulder. So I asked the man who was, the, oh, and, and again, the, the, the barber, I asked him, did you have a, a shoulder problem? And he goes, yeah, I do. What are you going to do to me? I go, oh, I'm not going to do anything, but Jesus can heal you. And what do you have, what do you have to lose? I mean, if, if nothing happens, you still have that problem, but what if Jesus does heal you? I mean, come on, what do you have to lose? So he said yes, and so we put that, that art piece right there on his shoulder, and we prayed and he was completely healed. And so uh, we had one of the people that was a singer, they sang a song over him. I mean, guys, he got everything. He got everything. Everybody, I mean, an hour later, we left. And that Sunday morning, who shows up? 
He's got his big hat on, his little bow tie thing on. And I said, gosh, I didn't think that he'd ever come to this church. And he goes, well, I wanted to hear you preach. Yeah. Was awesome. And I said, well, what did you do with all the art that you received? And he goes, oh, that was too good to keep. I gave it away to the convalescent home. Because they need it more than I do. I go, oh, you can be a part of my team. Because he understood. Why? Because it's a, it's a universal language. Amen. See, honor and encouragement through creativity, it's a universal language. You're not going to get people saying no. They absolutely love it. The enemy has so terrified people from being who they are out in the marketplace. And it's just sad because it's the exact place where you will get the most freedom and where you will really get to see God show off because he really wants to touch people. And he wants you to see how your creativity can impact your city. That's why you're here. And um, and this this is this is a part of my dream. This is a part of my destiny. This is not something that I think will happen. I know that this will happen for you. I know that the minute that you see the power of God released in your city through creativity and through you, I know that you will never turn back because it is so addicting. <laughs> I mean, we're going to be sharing with you some stuff. My team will be sharing about what they've done out in the marketplace. But it's just so much fun. And it's simple and it's easy. The city came to me last year, just a couple months ago, and said, we have this huge celebration. It's called, the, it's called Sundial Team. So they asked us if we could do a flash mob. So we had about two weeks to do that. And we put together a flash mob. Yeah, and then the other thing they asked was for a mural. So they asked for this mural to be done, which was about 30 feet by 5 feet. And they asked us to do something that we could interact with with the people that were just walking along the bridge. And so we put this together and Francesco helped with the actual design and then all of our City isn't just for you, but it's for other musicians, it's for other artists, it's for other dancers, it's for other places, because that one testimony will propel others to pursue. And if you could do anything in your city, what would you do? Lord, I pray that you would breathe on those dreams, but I pray right now you would show them what would happen if that dream was fulfilled. I pray that they could see themselves, whoa, with you partnering with you, fulfilling that, and the people that would be impacted because that dream happened. So I just release you, Holy Spirit, to just go into eternity and show them the fulfillment of how many lives would be impacted just because they said yes. And now, Holy Spirit, whoa, I pray that you would partner with them for this dream, like you have done in my life, that that Father, I just said yes, and then you started to open up doors and networking and all different kinds of stuff. I pray that that would begin to happen in everyone's life and that they could see the ripple effect. If once they throw that rock in the pond, once they say yes to you and, and transformation through their city, through them, I pray, God, that they would see how much it would impact those around them. So we just bless this. And, and I just, I declare that God is opening up doors for you. I declare that the strength of God is on you to be his minstrels, to open up things into people's hearts that no one can. I declare that he is with you in strategies and that he will provide for you for these things to happen because you're his child. 
ho. Amen. And he says that this is your time to dream and to know that he is behind those dreams. And so I just release favor and faith. Amen. And just like Abram couldn't understand that he would be the father of nations, the father who gave him that dream way before he was even a father. I pray that these dreams that you have given them, that God, they would know that that is your heart way before they see the fulfillment. Because you always fulfill what you, the dreams of your child's heart. So I just release that in Jesus' name. And everyone said, because what I did, it, it was exactly the buildings of the financial district, which is where they were, uh, based in this cavern with this water coming through it, and I was painting it. Totally released release beauty that will call forth people's identity, even as yeah. people buy that piece of clothing and wear it. So Hi, my name is Akechi, and I actually came in having no idea what this was fully about. I, I, I just thought it was art in the marketplace. Maybe we put our pictures on walls, and I feel like Teresa really released us to not only take our art, but to take who we are into the marketplace and to be a blessing for others and to just pour ourselves out. And uh, the idea of giving away art, I do that a little bit in my city, but in teeny, teeny, weeny ways. So I feel really released to just kind of go fully with that. And my vision is to take music, art, theater, film, and dance into open air spaces all over the world.